This is the introduction to a series of video tutorials on how to use GIS to carry out social science research. Um, what I wanted to do is show you the end product of all of these tutorials so that you have an idea of where we're going um, as we progress through the project. So what you see here are census tracts in the Denver Aurora urban area um, shaded by percent Latino, which we got from the Census Bureau, and these red plotted points are polluting facilities that we got from the EPA Toxics Release Inventory. So it really illustrates um, some of the core functions of GIS, that we can collate data from various sources um, and bring them together and explore this data to examine relationships and patterns between variables. Um, one of the things I want you to keep in mind as you go through these tutorials is that while this, the, the videos are focused on this particular project, the skill sets developed in each of those videos can be adapted to whatever your project requires. So while this one looks at census tracts in the Denver urban area, you may have a project that looks at counties in Virginia. Um, the same skill sets can be adapted. Um, same thing with downloading census data. You just have to change things up a little bit, but the same processes um, pertain to whatever project you're working on. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is anytime you work with a software program, perfection is required. You, you can't um, miss any one little thing, so really pay attention to detail. I also recommend that people, anytime they name something, a folder or a file, Name it something short, sweet, uh, intuitive, no spaces, no symbols. Um, just keep it simple and you'll avoid a lot of headaches along the way. But uh, I hope you enjoy this series of video tutorials and find them helpful. They go rather quickly, so you may have to pause them, uh, rewind or replay them or watch them more than once um, to fully absorb them. Um, but I hope you find them useful and uh, enjoy.